Welcome to Call My Man Cocktails. I am your host, Eric Schober, Doug Peterson, and we're making the Brandy Crustus. Crusta. Crustus. Crust. Don't put the S on the end because he didn't use it when Curd sent, sent, called me. Yeah, but he's from Massachusetts. How long? Uh, it's true. He also called this apricot, this, which is probably right. Actually, this recipe take, took a long time. Can, I, can you wash out my other cup there, Jennifer? Took, take, sure. Took, take, Did you only bring two you know. cups up for a five episode? No. I just used the wrong one a couple times. Yes. So what we're going to do, brandy. Good. Got it? Great. Hennessy. We're using cognac because I ran out of brandy last week. And I'm going to do two and a half ounces. So I'm going to do an ounce and a half, and then I could just do one ounce. Is that how that works? Sure. What? What? What are you doing? Hey, you know what I realized? What are you realizing? You put a sink on the... I put a sink. In the basement, we'll have a sink on every floor. <laughs> oh, interesting information for me. I know. Mm. <laughs> just realized that. That's just crazy. Nice. It is crazy. <laughs> what? Boom. All right. There's our brandy. Two and a half ounces of brandy. Dash is all around. Oh, we're going to need an ounce of lime juice as well. Then dash is all around. Lime, 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 lime. All right, you have to do that. Oh, I spilled some. You're spilling it everywhere. Not everywhere, just right here. Why are we using a mason jar? It's the mason shaker. Mason shaker. This just in. Proprietary patent talk. You'll see in a second. So, I'll tell you the story. I didn't know what this was. I'd never heard of a mason shaker before because they're new, right? Right. And. Somebody said they're new. Yeah. Somebody said it's a new product mm. just launched. So somebody said Mason Shaker. I was like, what the heck? Then the folks from Glass Darmer, they make the glass straws. Were like Mason Shaker, they sent me and the owner of the Mason Shaker. And he's like, you got to hook up with with uh, the Con Man Cocktail Show. Right. So I was like, what? And then I got another person. You really the measuring? Kurt said the dash. Dash. He, yeah. He said use the. This is a, that's it. Um, did I use the apricots? I'm no. confused. No? No. I thought you did. No. Oh, alright. Did I use the apricots? No. <laughs> huh? No, you used the hens. I need the grenadine. Can I have the grenadine over there? Feet yeah. brothers hiding behind. You had to. He did. Yeah. Card said you did. Alright. So. Wow, that's really full. Um, what are you doing? Dude. Uh, he, dude. It's not <laughs> So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, do you remember that time I punched you and you, you made you angry? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> it went in the rib. You think his back hurts now? <laughs> so, what, uh, this is, this is one of the things I put in my review that said slightly problematic is the ice. So, I decided... Heck, everybody's telling me about these mason jars. I need to know what's up. Right. So I just bought them for the store. I got okay. 12 of them. Okay. And to prove that they actually work, I brought over the Boston Shaker in, in Boston, where it would appropriately be. Right. Um, and as I'm bringing it to the store, because I was going across the street for a customer call, I, it fell out of the out of the box <laughs> and then landed on the street in the middle of Boston and yep. bounced up into there and I caught it. Nice. Which is when you've got the glass, you're like, oh my god! And you just literally, they just came in. And it landed right on the top and bounced up in there. So I was like, oh, that's good. Yeah. So, here's the challenge. You're going to yeah. shake it. Done. Right? Wow. That's great. And then, <laughs> patented. It. it is pink. Red. Wow. <laughs> is that? Are you feigning surprise? Were you? No, that the like no. There's no. I don't. I don't feign surprise. All right. I like being surprised in life. That actually came out a lot faster than I did when I was doing the test. That's a really good looking cocktail. Yeah. Shit. So the end of the day. Yeah. And 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 while the curd said I didn't need a garnish. I can right. It's a big ass fucking. Well, look. Lime. It was. It's a small glass. Whatever. What else? It is. It's this tiny little coop. So the end of my story is, we now tell these at the store, AustinRace.com. Uh, I also did a huge review. I did side-by-side -side comparisons with the cobbler and the Boston shaker. I did test temperature testing to see if they shook to the same temperature. I did it all for you. 
And because I was curious. Hmm. Sour! Very sour. Really? Very? Very. It reminds me of a, it, to me, that is a margarita with brandy or cognac. Mm. It's got that same yeah. sour consistency. Yep. The lime, which is about right, because I use an ounce of lime. Mm. Um, it, it actually follows pretty much my recipe for, for a margarita. Yeah. Except for it's not a margarita. It's very sour. It's pink. Yeah. It's pretty. You want mm -hmm. a question of the day? Uh huh? Have you ever got drunk drinking out of a mason jar? Well, Sean may have. Yeah. He bought some. I saw him <laughs> drinking them at work. <laughs> Got a little extra in here. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! That's what you do. I got a mason jar. Yeah. I was being Southern. Is that the best I got, though? No, I, that's, that was good. You had the yee and the ha. For the Beverly Hillbilly. <laughs> well, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's my taste of Southern. It's the Beverly Hillbilly. Yeah. Or do you like moonshine? Moonshine! What was the other question? Did I already ask one? Did you ever get drunk out of drinking out oh. of Mason Jar? Mason Jar, Moonshine Mason Jar. You get, you drink out of there, do you get drunk? Secondly, do you do it with the the spirit of choice, Moonshine? Yeah. I say, no, if you drink Moonshine out of a Mason Jar, you've qualified for both of those. Probably. Drunk, drinking from a Mason Jar. Probably. So you like it, or is it too sour for you? Ah, uh, kind of sour. Because I know you're not a big sour fan. No. And I... It's, I've had more sourer drinks. Mm -hmm. Can I just make up a word? Yep. All right, good. I've had sourer drinks. Right. More sour. Right. Uh, but this one is right up there on the Mary Endeavor scale. Dictionary. Right. Yes. I, I kind of actually like this a little bit. That's not surprise me because you're a sour guy. You know, and I never pegged myself as one. I think I'm. I think I'm. You. It you. I actually. Every time I say that, you say, "No, nah, I never pegged myself yeah. as a sour guy." You're a sour guy. But have I always you been? You really are. I don't. Have is that always been the case, or did? Yes. Did you I always have been? <laughs> yeah. You're Eric. Been. I mean, like since whenever. Sean's yelling at you. For the Dude, totally not time. cool. That was actually liquor, and I was still on the clock, and this is going to YouTube. <laughs> you put it on. Whatever. Google. What's Google knows? Everything's gone. And, and it wasn't on the clock. He was on break. Um, and there was no alcohol in there. It was just fruit flavored juice. I saw it, like the whole picture. Um, yeah, so. It was shared only to you. <laughs> news to me. <laughs> uh, and my three personalities, by the way. Apparently, I have a Google Plus. Wow. Yeah. I create three, three accounts. I, yeah, I have an awesome drinks one. I have, yeah, I, 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 I'm managing way too many Google Pluses. I don't even manage the first one. There you go. I'm a sour guy. Uh, it's been it's a third party has validated that as fact and I'm perfectly fine with that Brandy crusta Or as I would have called it a brandy sour Everydaydrinks.com. What are you burp me? Mm. <laughs> Teach you how to drink <laughs>